All right, this is the last time I'm trying to make this video. If this doesn't work, then you guys are on your own. I'm just kidding, but I've made about 10 of these and it seems like I'm constantly getting interrupted. So uh, I just wanted to make this real quick because I had a heck of a time trying to figure out where the drain plug was and everything. I just didn't want to take anything off that I didn't know what I was doing. So I asked guys on the U-Force 800 group, got some really good answers and went about it and just got it all apart. So I want to make a quick video to show the next guy where everything is. So here is, first things first, is they recommended, several guys recommended pulling this off. Great idea because the drain plug sits over that. There's not a hole specifically for the drain plug. You couldn't reach up in there and get the oil drain plug off, but it would leak all over that thing and probably drip out of every nook and cranny. So I took that off, 13 bolts. The drain plug itself is this here, big fat 19 millimeter, and it's straight up and down under the machine, under that uh, skid plate. And it has this uh, washer, which is recommended to get a new one each time. Um, somebody said I could reuse it probably, but I'm, I only live a mile and a half from the dealership, so I'm gonna run over there and just get a new one. Uh, but I pulled that off. Then you want to take a notice of if you have any crap on your magnet is now's a good time to really look at it and see because if you have anything big that's, you know, maybe too big, you may want to contract the dealer. I saw a video where RNG had like a, looked like a piece of welding wire or something stuck to his. Um, but I didn't find anything really, really clean. So not a big deal. Pulled that off and then to the left of that, is uh, under the machine towards the passenger side of where the bolt is kind of in the middle. And just this side of it up underneath, there's this thing, the sump cover sits like this. And there's four bolts, you pull those off, that comes off. And um, then inside of that is the uh, screen, the sump screen, like a protective, another protective uh, layer, I guess, before it gets to the oil filter. This was nice and clean too. This is in there like so and I grabbed it with my fingers. I couldn't get it out so I used some needle nose and it came right out and I cleaned it up. I'm going to put that back in and then after I got all the oil drained out that I could I came up here and then I removed the three bolts on the oil filter cover right there and I put a rag down. There was still quite a bit of oil obviously in there and then I pulled that rag out and stuck another rag under there uh, there is the exhaust right underneath there, so it's really not a great spot for the oil to leak. But if it does, you'll know it because it'll probably smell terrible for a while. Uh, but anyway, I got the exhaust uh, covered. I pulled that filter out. I'm going to clean that hole out. And then I'm just going to do everything in reverse, stick it all back together. And I should be good to go. But I just want to say thanks to everybody on the... Um, U-Force 800 group page uh, for helping me and I hope this video will be of use to maybe just one other person you know it would or more but if it just helps one person I think it'll be worth it so go ahead and have a great day and uh thanks for watching